Move next to a story that has left many with questions. We are hearing from the fiance of 34 year old ESPN reporter who lived in Atlanta, died after being diagnosed with pneumonia. Edward Ashoff passed away on Christmas Eve, his birthday. Ashoff's fiance in social media posts describes him being hospitalized and then receiving treatment for a presumed diagnosis of HLH shortly before his death. It's something few of us in the newsroom had ever heard of, so we wanted to know more about what it is and the complications it can cause. And Joe Hinky joins us now with a closer look at what is HLH. I've never heard of that before, Joe. I, I hadn't until this case either, Ryan. It is uh, potentially fatal, but we do want to stress here it is extremely rare. Uh, HLH is diagnosed in fewer than one out of every 50 to 100,000 children per year, according to the St. Jude Children's Hospital. Infants or young children are most often diagnosed, but it can also attack adults, as in this case, Atlanta area Dr. Will Epps tells me HLH causes the immune system to churn on and begin attacking itself but it just gets overworked and uh, starts fighting regular tissues. So usually those uh, tissues are organs like your spleen or your liver, and so it can result in liver failure or, or, or organ failure. All right, Joe, now you mentioned that HLH most common in children, but mm -hmm. Ashoff, as we've said, he was 34 years old. So what kind of leads into someone learning they have it? There's two different versions here. There's what's called a familial or genetic version. That's more common in children. That's passed from generation to generation, and people are diagnosed with that at a young age. There's also a secondary version called acquired. This is more common in adults with medical experts saying it is thought to come from certain infections, cancers, or autoimmune disorders. Pneumonia, which Ashoff said he was diagnosed with on social media, is included in that list. Okay, so let's say someone is diagnosed with HLH. What's next? What are the treatment options for him here? There's a variety of treatment options here. I'm told the main goal, though, is to focus on that immune system that is attacking itself and also to put HLH into remission. Treating that is kind of tamping that down, either through steroids like dexamethasone or with... Uh, like a chemotherapeutic agent, which those tend to lower your, your, your uh, attack your immune system or lower that immune system. Doctors, I'm told, will also focus on treating any underlying cause, such as pneumonia. According to John Hopkins Medicine, antibiotic or antiviral drugs can be used, or if drug treatments fail, doctors can turn to a stem cell transplant. All right, good to know. Thank you, Joe.